Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1986's Generation 1. Cyclonus. Now Cyclonus first hit the toy shelves in 1986 to coincide with his appearance in Transformers the movie, where it's shown that he's the upgraded form of Sky Shell. Cyclonus, the warrior, and his armada. See what I did there? I don't want to cause any online fights. Anyway, Cyclonus went on to be a major player in Season 3 and 4 of the Transformers animated series. He also was the only one that couldn't decide whether or not to have a goatee or be clean shaven. In Marvel Comics, Cyclonus made his first appearance in Transformers the movie, the official comic adaptation. But just like Transformers the movie, he really didn't do much in the comic book. In the regular series, he appeared in Headmasters number four as he was introduced as a target master, but once again, really didn't do anything. He then made another appearance in Marvel Comics issue number 67 in an alternate timeline where he, Galvatron, and Scourge had taken over the Earth, or the Decepticons had taken over the Earth. Cyclonus was being bested by a chain claw. Galvatron came to his rescue, and since Galvatron thought Cyclonus was weak, he blew his head off. Then, in Marvel UK, Cyclonus was killed once again by a clone of Megatron by having his head ripped off, and that started a time flux that pretty much kicked off one of the best UK series ever, The Time Wars. And I'm still pissed at IDW for canceling their UK reprint, so I'm not really sure why Marvel Comics hated Cyclonus so much that they were always killing him off. But that's pretty much it for the history of Cyclonus in U.S. comic and cartoon history. Now let's take a look at the figure himself. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Nineteen eighty six's Generation One Cyclonus to this day has my favorite G one Decepticon jet mode. I absolutely love the looks of this jet. This thing just looks badass. It's very streamlined, pretty well seamless for a G one figure, aside from the toes sticking out the back, but you know, you can pretend those are thrusters. But man, this thing just looks spectacular. Now, my G1 here has brand new decals thanks to Toy Hacks because my original figure, the decals were a little beat up. He does have some great paint applications right there. He's got the orange cockpit that was seen in Transformers the movie that Galvatron can actually ride inside a Cyclonus. So you got a little bit of mass shifting going on there. And that's pretty much it for the paint applications. Like I said, you got stickers, Decepticon logo there. On each wing, you got decals right there and decals there that really adds to the look of the figure. The tip of the nose cone is rubber, and he does have some die cast. There's die cast metal right there, that little 
pin or lever and die cast right there on the wings. This is the era where the die cast was slowly getting faded out of the Transformer figures. He's also got his rub symbol right there. Not sure if it still works or not. Uh, barely. But you know he's a Decepticon. He wears it all over. Now Cyclonus also has landing gear and visible robot face syndrome right there. Now the problem with Cyclonus' landing gear, let's see, you got wheels here and here, is the front landing gear only has one wheel there on the side. So you got to get it positioned just right or it's going to flop over. So sometimes it takes a little bit of manipulation to get it right, but once you have it there, it looks great. And now for a quick vehicle comparison, here is 1986's Cyclonus with the new Kingdom Cyclonus. As you can tell, they're very similar yet different, where the Kingdom Cyclonus tends to go more towards the animated look, losing a lot of those sticker decals from the original. Now let's get Cyclonus transformed into robot mode. And the first thing we're gonna do is fold back in the landing gear then you're going to take these little flaps right here on the back, flip those open, and extend the legs. Do that like so. They're on a double hinge. Bring them all the way out. Then you're going to flip the feet up. Make sure and get the knees locked in. Now we're going to take the nose cone and simply just fold it back along the jet, revealing, well, not much revealing, but... Yes, revealing Cyclonus's horns. Now we're going to take the wings and bring these back. Let's see, he's quite tight. So you're just going to fold these over like so. And then with the arms, bring this section down and rotate around. Just like so. I gotta manipulate the forearm wing around the back wing. There we go. So make sure Cyclonus's fist holes are facing out. And there we have Cyclonus in robot mode. But I forgot one step. I always forget this. You take the shoulders right here and just slide them up and they'll lock into place. And now we've got Cyclonus in robot mode. And robot mode looks a lot different than the animated or comic appearance. It's very, it's very G1. The head is really big. The face is kind of sunk in down here at the bottom. Great face sculpt, though. I do like the painted eyes. Face looks really good. The head, it just looks weird. Moving on down the body, you got some nice sticker decals right there. This black section is where the landing gear was. He kind of has Popeye forearms, in my opinion. Not a big fan of the forearms and fist. Legs are decent. They kind of have that rounded look from the movie. More sticker decals right there. And that's pretty much it. Now, as far as articulation goes, the head cannot move at all. The arms could do a complete 360, but you have to get the wings out of the way. They kind of fold up against the back. Now, the arms or the Biceps do have a bicep bend and bicep rotation. The legs can go forward and back. They are on a ratchet, which is really nice. And he has a slight knee bend. Well, it kind of snaps apart there, but a very slight knee bend thanks to transformation. Now, Cyclonus also comes with a weapon right here that can be placed in either hand. So it just goes right there. There's that peg hole, match it up to the peg, and there we go. Now we have Cyclonus all armed and ready for battle. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 1986's Generation 1 Cyclonus with his partner in crime, Generation 1 Scourge, Classics Cyclonus, Combiner Wars Cyclonus, and his newest incarnation, Kingdom Cyclonus. 1986's Generation 1 Cyclonus is a must-have for a Generation 1 Transformer collector. This is an iconic figure and not that bad of a toy. 
Robot mode leaves a little bit to be desired, but with Cyclonus, it's all about that vehicle mode. So there you go, guys. Transformers 1986 Cyclonus. So, does a Generation 1 Cyclonus belong in your collection? Absolutely. If you're a G1 collector, this is a must-have for your collection. This is one of the most popular characters after the movie on into Season 3 and 4. This is a great figure, decent bot, fantastic vehicle mode. I can't brag enough about the vehicle mode. So yeah, you see this guy, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. But keep in mind, an original Generation 1 Cyclonus with his weapon is going to cost you a pretty penny. Now, if you're not hung up on getting official Generation 1 toys, there is a fantastic KO version out that my good friend Bert the Stormtrooper has just reviewed. So if you want to check that out, click the link above. And yes, we timed these reviews together. So check that out, compare it to this, and see which Cyclonus is best for you. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!